Um, hello, my people, and welcome to my health channel, Canadon Bosso. Today, now, she's the psoriasis where I want to talk about. When I don't see the name of this disease, it is so long and heavy for mouth. The name be schistosomiasis, and they pronounce them schistosomiasis. It be an infection caused by a parasite worm, where people defined for tropical and subtropical regions like Africa, Brazil, Southern China, Southeast Asia, Philippines, Caribbean, Middle East, and many more countries. Okay, this um warm where they cause this infection they live in um rivers lakes and streams okay this warm they live in these waters when i know that our water they cloudy where people they go where they red okay where toads they fall into hey that water na poison plenty plenty disease they inside that water now information i bring to una so that make una be careful, make una know that um, they get diseases where my people they get from our local waters. Okay, water where get so much parasites where they live in fresh water snails. Although the parasitic worms no day for Europe or USA waters, so, okay, and no day for many developed country water, people they get infected worldwide more than 200 million people don't they infected for africa the water i the hammer on here now that water or river where una they see church people they take people go say then they watch them for healing come out demons for them from them body baptize them that same water juju people they use and for sacrifice oh these same juju people and church people go kill fowl and goat cut their head pour the water their blood into the water and throw either the live goat or dead goat into that same river chai chai this one la killer okay ah so all the story then they tell una say na healing una they go to for this river na baptism and they go for or the Karuna go there for sacrifice because they won't remove evil from our body. This water they polluted with Urishi Rishi and with the worms where they cause more serious problems. This water they cause serious wahala for people in years to come. Make una eye open and make una hear now now waiting we go help una and save una all. Okay? When this worm Enter body now their sentence be okay. No be this same water people they enter go swim, children they enter go swim, people they, they paddle on this same water. Yeah, some even they drink them, some even they take and wash them body. Okay, now this same water people they carry go home, go drink, some they use them to cook food. Yeah, now this same water get these snails where they live in them, these worms. They live in the blood of vessels where they are around the bladder and bowel when the worm don't enter the body. And people, no, no, they go, they go, they go do washing. How people, they get this even, this um, infection? The worms, where they cause this um, schistosomiasis, they live in these rivers, lakes and streams, okay? And people feed them from reservoirs and canals in tropical and subtropical uh, regions. Okay, now I want to say showers where they take unfiltered water directly from the lakes and rivers may also spread the infection. Okay, but the worms um, are not found in the sea. They know they find these worms where chlorinated water, they like those swimming pools, okay, or water then where they don't treat properly. Okay, now somebody feels they infected if they come in contact with the contaminated water, for example, if it's a paddle. If they swim, if they wash, okay, these worms they they burrow into the skin, and once it enter your body, the worms go move through your blood to areas such as the liver and bowel, and once it there for your body, after a few weeks, the worms go start to lay eggs. Some eggs remain inside the body, and are attacked by the immune system. Okay, or then they attack the immune system, while some are passed out in the form of poo and pee. Without treatment, these worms 
feed their dead, they lay eggs for several years. And if the eggs pass out of the body through poo or we, they release tiny larvae that need to grow inside freshwater snails for a few weeks before they are able to infect any person. This means that it's not there possible to catch this infection from someone who they infected. Okay, now um, uh, the same, many people with this long word schistosomiasis know they get symptoms or even experience anything for several years or even months. Okay, and you know, if you probably not go even notice, say, um, you they infected, although occasionally people they get small, itchy red bumps on their skin for a few days, okay, where the worms don't take enter, as you see in that leg where they're there. Now, after a few weeks, some people feel develop high temperature, we go there like over 38, and um, some people go get itchy, red, blotchy, and raised um, patch. You see, picture where it they enter, okay? Some people they cough, some people they get diarrhea, some people they get um. Um, abdominal tummy uh, pain some people they get sense of feeling really unwell some people they get aches and pains okay these symptoms they usually get better by themselves within a few weeks but it is important to get treated because the parasite can remain in your body and lead to long-term complications see what way did they go go fetch go drink go swim give on cow day inside the water Okay, now long term problems where, where they're caused by this disease, or even people they even they go there. Okay, some people with um, um, this, this, uh, this um, schistosomiasis, um, whether, they, whether they don't get um, or initial symptoms or not, may eventually um, or get serious problems in parts of their body where the eggs don't travel to. One part of the body be the digestive system. If it causes anemia, abdominal pain, and swelling, diarrhea, and blood in your pool. Okay, now if it enter the urinary system and cause irritation of the bladder, okay, when you de pee, a frequent need to pee and blood in your pee as well. Now, if you enter the heart and lungs can, and can cause um, persistent coughing, wheezing, shortness of breath, coughing of blood, if you enter the nervous system or the brain and if it cause seizure, which which it be epilepsy, headaches, um, weakness numbness in your legs and dizziness without treatment these organs can become um, permanently damaged though okay so the way to prevent them is to um there's no vaccine where they prevent them okay so it's very important that you be aware of the risk and take precautions to avoid being exposed to this contaminated water if you visit africa asia south america middle east and many other countries please make you that way that these parasites stay in their waters make you avoid paddling swimming and washing in fresh water boil your water filter your water before you go drink them avoid medicines where they, they sell locally because they may be fake substandard ineffective and not giving correct dosage if you went to school back home and you you know say you do you go swim or you, you drink those water you go watch for those local rivers and streams you need to get a test if, if it live in your body for years to come okay now if you get any problem get a bit make you seek medical advice okay go to the hospital if you develop symptoms uh, where i don't mention about and if you don't travel to all those parts of the world where you get the parasite in their water please make you tell your doctor about them make you know keep quiet if you begin to get symptoms okay you know see picture how we they enter leg okay say you don't see you get fucked head so when you enter you don't go even know because it's inside the water there okay if you think say you've been exposed to um this water you need to tell your doctor about it okay when you there when you if you die abroad go home go use this water come back or go expose you see them for then they go pray for water see what they do for water now all this is the cause of problems because people don't know say these things there for water okay especially people when they live abroad they will go say that they go for prayers then they go do something for water and juju people will carry then go do sacrifice sacrifice for place where you go enter put your leg in you don't know what to enter your body and you don't know what, how what you go cause see people there where they go inside those kind of water say then they go do prayers anyway make i continue sha okay if you know if you don't travel to those kind of countries where you get these things you need to come back tell your doctors you know so you bought my way calling with your wife 
Eh? So and um, please, please, please make you make sure say you, you you take precautions. You know the symptoms. You speak to your doctor about it. If you get any of the symptoms, speak to your doctor about it. Make you know keep quiet. You know matter. No shame. Just make sure say you're there, doctor. They go do tests. They go find out whether you get them. Okay. Now I want to say thank you for watching my video. Make you share my video to your friends and please like and subscribe. Okay. Thank you so much.